Uh, hello again. Um, this is the second part of the Abacus structural dynamic of high rise building. building. In the first uh, part, we have uh, constructed this model, these examples, and then we conduct the model analysis and we determine the uh, time period and also natural frequency of the structure. And we also discuss how to apply the load to the uh, structure uh, during the model analysis and also during the earthquake analysis. So in this part, we will we have a, a Kubi earthquake report, and we want to conduct a nonlinear time history analysis. Uh, so here is the uh, Kubi earthquake, and you can uh, you can find your uh, own record. If you don't have, then you can uh, document and you can uh, ask this. So we jump to the model, and here is the first mode shape, and we have determined the time period is one point two one which is equal to natural frequency of 0 0.82 and this is the second mode and this is the third mode so this three uh, fundamental mode is important for us now uh, we uh, quickly copy uh, this model and just we call it model 2 uh, we also can name and uh, like, like model 1 is model analysis model 2 is uh, time history analysis so it's okay uh, I keep it like this and go to the, the first thing is I'm going to do is I go to the step and the step it's model 2 so remember and I'm going to delete this uh, frequency analysis so I'm going to create a, a new one is called nonlinear time history analysis analysis so the time history nonlinear time history analysis should be explicit and the total uh, time period is equal to the end of the earthquake record so i'm going to select this one the end of in this 40.9 i'm going to copy this as well and first i'm going to write here uh, 40.9 uh, and the incrementation should be automatic will, will the program should find a proper incremental time and we say yes and here in the model 2 here i'm going to create a time step uh, earthquake record could be EQ and maybe it's uh, horizontal horizontal uh, actually direction and tabular and going to paste and you can see here so this is the amplitude which is G and this is the time or frequency which is second now we come to here we have about 40 seconds and we want to ask give us about 800 which is 0 0.5 second so in every five step it should extract one for us so the other thing is can be as default and the same thing for the time history output 0 0.05 and we don't need to get all the energy type of energy but we want to take the elastic part the plastic and the work energy and the total energy and just okay now we are finished the step is defined we don't need interaction we jump to the load. So in the first load, we have already created a fixed base, and the second is we have to define a displacement uh, acceleration, regular acceleration in the bottom of this structure. So I'm going to say here, and uh, let me uh, do one thing. I want to generate one uh, set when I give the boundary condition. It is called base. Uh, fixed or you can actually say change change like this so displacement and we're gonna create a set called base I'm gonna select all this and just control preset control and let select this top and here so I'm gonna consider it because it's in a uh, two direction SP U1 U2 it's called inch and now we create uh, acceleration or uh, uh, earthquake uh, loot on the bottom of the structure we called copy EQ H horizontal in case if you want to add vertical as also possible and I'm going to take that set which is earlier we defined then we want to give the 10,000 the 
the earthquake is G and we want to change it to uh, millimeter per gram, millimeter per square second, so that'd be 10,000. 10, 10, and in case you want to add in the vertical direction, you can also check it and you can give like 30% of the 30% uh, of the uh, horizontal or even you can put the, directly the vertical uh, earthquake record. So in this study, we can just consider the X and we choose simplitude to be earthquake. So now we're done here. We don't have anything else. We just go to check the mesh and sometimes we want to, uh, when we uh, define the mesh, maybe it's forget, we, we forget to uh, assign the type of mesh, especially in an uh, element library, you should select explicit. If you use uh, standard, maybe you will get some error. So it's be explicit. Now we are done, we are finished. We go to the here second. And uh, before that, I should say it in the good assembly in Moodle 2, uh, the mass is uh, exactly the same on the first model. So we go to the assembly and we have that mass, which is already defined. And here is one more thing in case if you want to add some proportional mass dumping, uh, we also can uh, come here and we define the alpha, which is uh, proportional dumping, mass dumping. Uh, but uh, we consider uh, zero mass, uh, zero uh, dumping in this structure. So we write a top and we call it nonlinear time history, nonlinear time history called analysis. And you can use multiple processor to get faster. And we're gonna submit it. We're gonna monitor if there is any problem and check it. So here is and the uh, package completed successfully, and it takes some time to finish. And so we should wait until the analysis completed. So it take about uh, maybe one hour to finish. Now the analysis is completed and it took about uh, one to an hour. And we want to go to check the result. And here is the result. Uh, here is the result. And the only uh, way to um, see the result quickly. And it's uh, animation. And we can uh, give some uh, larger deformation. This be ten times and you can see here maybe we can make it 20 yes. we also can uh, render the view So this is the uh, animation, and we go with an, uh, displacement and also acceleration. We go to the unique model, and we take u uh, one in the in this direction, and we also can get the uh, acceleration. And we want to select one point, one node in this location. So we select it, plot. <coughs> And here is the result. So you can see the displacement is about uh, 100 millimeter maximum, and uh, the acceleration is about uh, 20,000 uh, millimeter per square second. So here's one thing I should say, uh, which the structure we're not going to uh, suppress because uh, we couldn't define any uh, structural dumping. So in this case, and the structure will isolate until uh, the end of this time period. So we just let me plot the displacement, and you can see displacement in that point, which is the end of the uh, earthquake, which will be about 60 or 50 millimeter. Uh, we also can uh, plot the total energy, uh, total energy, which is inserted to the structure, and here is. Uh, in the early stage is small and then finally it's quite large energies uh, you can say inserted to the structure and we also have another type of energy uh, work energy yeah you can see 
uh, that is the work energy in this area is quite large which is the maximum acceleration in this point and then this uh, so this is the uh, final uh, part and if you have any question please put in the comment and I'll find time to answer you see you next time